Um, my name is Mohammed Abu Jafal. I'm a sidecar architect at Tanas of Technology. Uh, today I'll be worth talking about Sidecar Send, previously known as MoSend. But first, let me introduce myself. Here are my social links. Uh, if anyone would like to say hi, you're welcome. Before we talk about Sidecar Send or MoSend, um, let's take a step back and and see why, why we need a new email marketing platform. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with AXM, right? <laughs> so uh, as George and uh, all speakers said, and as you all know from Symposium, Sitecore is moving forward with a complete composable DXP. So um, what is actually a composable DXP? It's the one that is entirely modular. So it uh, contains multiple uh, composite components that is um, that communicate with each, with each other through um, APIs. And of course, um, one of these components is uh, the email marketing platform, which is an integral part for any DXP. So if, if Sitecore were, sorry, if Sitecore were shopping for uh, a new email marketing platform, uh, why, why Mosend? According to G2 um, reviews, which was based on actual users, uh, actual users that use the platform, uh, MoSend is one of the best email marketing platform for following reasons. The first one is ease of setup. In this category, um, MoSend uh, scored like 9.2, which is up of average, and even bypassed the well-known mark email marketing platform like MailChimp. It's, it's really easy to set it up. It's, it will take only a few clicks, uh, enter a few information in the weather setup, and you're ready to go. The next uh, reason is also ease of use. Um, it's really uh, easy to use. There's no much training required if you're a client that um, creating your own campaign and sending your uh, emails to your uh, end users. The last one, which is also important in Sitecore world, is the quality of support. Uh, their support is um, yeah, make them one of the top email marketing platform out there. OK, so what Sitecore Send actually offers us as customers, um, of course, a lot of features. Uh, one of them is an all-in-one marketing platform. You got um, the core features of any email marketing platform. Uh, you can set up your email campaign. You can even import your existing email template or choose from a wide range of templates available in the marketplace or what they call a uh, template library. Um, they have a really um, cutting edge newsletter, newsletter editor uh, that you can create a newsletter from scratch or import it from the library, um, all by just drag and drop some of the widgets and the controllers. And even you can edit these components in line, more like what we use in, in Experience Editor, but a much faster, of course. And you've got also cutting edge personalization um, using their uh, um, marketing forms. You can manage your audience using Sitecore Send through uh, segmentation. Um, you can create uh, or break down your um, email list through segmentation by uh, blind tags. And also there's a criteria editor that you can control or add whatever in a equation-like uh, method. You also have CRM tools. You can manage your subscribers in, in bulk. Um, you can uh, display all the data coming from the platform in one dashboard. Every place, uh, every data you need, uh, like to monitor your manage list, email campaigns in one place. And also you can um, uh, have custom reports built for you, which you can export and filter as you need. You also get landing pages that could drive your um, uh, acquisition rate. Uh, you, Back in, in Sitecore, we used to use Sitecore forms to build such uh, marketing forms. But in Sitecore uh, Send, you can build it here. You have um, also a lot of uh, templates for the subscription form, 
whether it's a pop-up, it's one in the footer, uh, you can customize it to your need or you can also pick out of the box ones. Um, of course, any email marketing platform has to have marketing automation. And it's, um, back in EXM, you used to, to um, or in, in Sitecore, we have marketing automation, but here the advantage is that there's a lot of built-in uh, workflows that can work for you out of the box, and you also can build your own uh, workflow. Um, also with e-commerce ABI, you can integrate Sitecore Send with your e-commerce site, and you can send product recommendation based on the user activity on your website or, or buying history. Sitecore Send also comes with a tracking feature um, called More Track. Uh, when set up with your website, you can track your user's actions, your um, user behavior in your website, and this data can come back to the Sitecore Send. So uh, you can view all this behavior in, in the reporting and analytics. So uh, how can someone set up uh, Sitecore Send? Uh, Sitecore Send uh, comes with three subscriptions. One is that totally free uh, at no cost forever. And you get the core features. The other one is Pro. Of course, it adds more features to, uh, to your subscription. And the last one, the Enterprise, um, it's a custom plan that you agree with as a customer and add whatever features you need for your business. And this is alone is a step forward in, in Sitecore. I mean, it's ne never been easier to use one of Sitecore components or uh, products without going back to your sales representative. So there's either steps to set up your first account. All that you need is a business email. And this email will be used as your um, default sender email unless you go and add more senders. And after that, you need a subdomain and a password, and you should be ready to go. Of course, in the paid uh, subscription, you can build your custom or configure your custom domain. This one will be used in your landing pages. If you direct the user from the email he received to a landing page, it's nice to see your, your brand instead of uh, sub brand or subdomain with, with mosin.com. Um, these, most of these fields are optional, but it's uh, some information about your company. Then you're ready to go. Um, when you first uh, use the, uh, the new account, you, instead of the dashboard, you will see this nice uh, onboarding setup. Um, it also has this progress indicator. It will guide you through step by step. Uh, if you notice here, these are locked down because you have to fill the first step first, which is the from and email for the sender. This one that your customers will see when they receive your email. Of course, you can add multiple senders. And once you finish this one, you will be guided to the next step, which is the mailing list, equivalent to uh, the list manager that we have in, in the current XP. Uh, of course, you can add multiple mailing lists, and each mail list can have segments and um, uh, members, and also custom fields. In, in Sitecore Send, custom fields is part of the mailing list, not, is, not uh, from the contact profile. So um, each list can create different uh, custom fields, and you can move these custom fields between lists. So to create a mailing list, you only have to uh, um, create, uh, choose a name for this mail list and uh, it will create an empty one. Most likely, as we do in, in Sitecore XP nowadays, by clicking just uh, empty contact list. So once the list is it's created, uh, you can add members manually, one by one, or you can go to the patch actions where you, have, where you can import a list of uh, subscriptions from Excel, CSV, and um, other bulk actions. You can configure some settings also, or you can create your custom fields. Out of the box, you get three fields, which is the name, an email, and uh, mobile. And um, when you're creating any new field, you will get this uh, token that you can use in your e email templates. So uh, now that you have your mailing list set up, you have the from email set up, 
it's time or you can now go the third step and create your, your campaign. Um, SiteCrossend provide these different campaigns. One of them is the regular campaign. Um, you design your template and you use uh, to send it to any of the mailing lists. Mailing list. um, the content could be um, imported from a default template or you can bring your old templates as well. In AP Split campaign, which is a really nice feature here, um, you create two versions for your template. And when, when the campaign starts working, it sends the two versions at the same time equally between the contacts and the list. And at the same time, it measures the performance of each version. And with, with, when it decides which version is performing better, it uses it for the rest of the list. Uh, repeatable HTML, HTML campaign, it's the same concept with the regular campaign, but instead of having to create your uh, template inside Corsair, you just give it a URL of a web page or any content, and it will import it from there. RS is the same, but it will take an RS feed URL instead of a page URL. To create a campaign, uh, you have a simple form that you need to fill, the campaign name, of course, uh, the subject of the email, and a preview text. The preview text is, is optional. It's usually some email uh, application. Show it as a teaser test um, right next to the subject line. And you need to configure or choose one of your senders as the, um, the one to use for the reply. And if you need uh, confirmation for the email sent, you also need to choose one of the emails. Um, you have an option to track your campaign in Google Analytics if that integration is set up already. And of course, if you enable track your campaign revenue, um, Moosend will track your campaign's uh, events and uh, views and orders if you integrate this with uh, e-commerce. Um, next step is yeah, that you will choose one of your mailing lists to be used in uh, this campaign. Next, you will choose which type of content you need. You have the plain text only. Of course, the um, tracking will not, um, not all tracking features will work in this case, uh, but the only advantage of it that you will make sure everyone receive it and see it clearly. Some email applications might block the HTML template. Um, and HTML and plain text, it's uh, better for all tracking features. Um, if you choose the HTML template, you, this is the editor of uh, your newsletter or email. Um, you have three sections here that you can uh, change the structure of the template or add elements to it, like um, controls like the image, text. And uh, of course, you can pick from the template library over here. You can preview it. You can start, sorry. <laughs> you can start testing this template or view it in mobile view mode. Once uh, the design uh, looks exactly as you want, um, you can schedule delivery, which is the last step of the campaign. You can either send it immediately or uh, schedule it for a later delivery. This feature enables the schedule automated resending. Um, not sure if anyone will use it or not, but uh, it will monitor the um, uh, the emails. If a customer didn't open the email in a certain time, it will keep resending the email. Once you finish creating the campaign, it will appear in this campaign dashboard, and you can uh, see a lot of um, good information already, like the click rate, the open rate, and what's the status of the campaign. If it's ready to send, if it's sending, or it's complete. Okay, um, what's about integration? Um, Sitecore Send or Most Send out of the box has multiple ways of integration. The first one, if you use the native application already implemented in Sitecore Send, um, there have a lot of uh, apps like uh, integration with the Drupal, um, Magento, um, uh, WordPress, stuff like that. If not, you can use Zapier. Uh, for anyone who's not familiar with Zapier, it's an automation uh, workflow tool, uh, which is integrated already with hundreds of apps. 
and one of them is Mosent. So, for example, you can set up a workflow to insert a member in your mailing list if someone submits your Google form. The other option, since uh, Sidecore Send is also on, on Mac architecture, it's API first. So everything you have in the platform, you will have an API for it. So here, uh, there's no limitation. You can integrate it with the, through the API the way you like it. OK, what, what about uh, Sidecore integration? Um, Sidecore already provided a blueprint of three scenarios that you can uh, integrate Sidecore Send with Sidecore product starting from today. One is how to integrate it with Content Hub. The other one is with Order Cloud. And this one explains how to integrate it with Sitecore WC or XM, Experience Manager. Uh, to integrate it with Experience Manager, um, actually, there's uh, three um, cases they mention in this article or blueprint. First one, um, you need to think, uh, implement this in integration with DXP in mind. So uh, you need to define the boundaries and make sure that uh, separation of concerns here. Um, Sitecore XM will play the role of your content management only. Anything related to campaigns, emails, uh, templates should be handled using Sitecore Send. So in order to achieve that, the first step is you need to add the tracker for, from most Send or Sitecore Send on your website. They will give you like a, a JavaScript asset, more like uh, Adobe used to do and other application. You put this JavaScript in, in your header, uh, HTML header, for all your pages that you need to integrate with Sitecore Send. What it does is that it will start tracking your uh, user behavior, uh, the clicks, um, any action the user will do, and send it back to Sitecore Send. And will also um, download the library that you can use um, to trigger Sitecore uh, or to uh, identify visitors. So if, if you send an email to someone and this uh, user already um, browsing your website, and he looked into your website, you can call this JavaScript function to identify him because you now have the email and have uh, his um, name. You can register it back to Sitecore Send. So this will give you the omni-channel experience. The last step is that uh, you need to subscribe to your mailing list. So you will embed one of the Sitecore um, uh, forms not Sitecore Send forms that you build in Sitecore Send, uh, embedded in uh, an HTML in your website. There's multiple ways to do it, but the easiest one is the inline embedding. You have uh, the form in your website, and it's already submitting to, to Sitecore Send. 